Hi all, CJ here. How are you all doing? Going to do a different video today from the norm. So, because I hope this will reach not just all you lovely people, but other people that may be new to my channel. Hi, my name's CJ. I have had fibromyalgia and ME, myalgic encephalitis, same thing as CFS, CFS, chronic fatigue syndrome, for 41 years. Um, did I say I'm 61? Well, I am. Um, and I feel it. <laughs> so, just so you know how I operate my channel, I have severe fibromyalgia. I live in severe pain 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, chronic intract intractable pain. It would help if I could speak, wouldn't it? Um, so I'm not well enough to edit videos. I don't prepare them. I just find it I don't find it easy sitting looking at myself making videos and putting my face out to the world. I struggle with it. But I do love my channel and what I'm trying to do for fibromyalgia. But today I want to talk about having a narcissist in your life. And I'm not talking about somebody that kind of has slight tendencies like that. No, 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 we're talking full-blown. I've looked into it. But today I'm only going to be speaking from my own experience and giving my own opinion. Now... I don't know why I've been battling with myself on, on this one. I'm affording somebody some respect that they don't they don't deserve from me. In my opinion, respect is earned. You're not just entitled to it. Um So I am showing this person some respect, but I do want to talk about childhood trauma, how I've been affected, but I might have to um, well, obviously I'm going to be careful on on my wording, excuse me. Never waste a good cup of coffee. Okay, so, my opinion, my opinion is that what happened in my early life caused my fibro and ME. I was diagnosed when I was 20. Um, you may disagree, you may think differently for yourself, but for me, that's my my own opinion I am 100% certain excuse me not time to get an itchy nose sorry I am 100% certain my early time has messed up the rest of my life Excuse me. Sorry about that. So, 
as I was saying, I'm, I'm convinced, utterly convinced that what happened to me during that time definitely caused my fibromyalgia and Demi. That's my opinion. I tried to speak to a I can't remember if it was a psychiatrist about it but it was a few years back when we didn't know as much about um, narcissists um, as we do now and I didn't get on very well trying to speak to doctors about it because a lot of them really didn't have a clue um, now it was tough to say the very least and I have two amazing fantastic children well young adults um, and I have broken that cycle now I have heard and read a lot of people saying no people don't break the cycle it carries on carries on no my parenting style I raised my children completely on my own from when they were 10 and 13 completely and utterly alone no family help no help at all um, and I raised them with love, care, compassion, kindness, honesty, an ability to be able to say sorry when it turned out I was wrong. I'm always able to say, you know, I say, well, you put that on there. Turns out I've done it. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was me. I have absolutely no issue with saying sorry if. Well, I say sorry far too much anyway. You know, somebody will walk into me in the street and I'm sorry, sorry. Um, trying very hard to break that, but it's difficult. Now, I haven't done a huge about, amount of research into this because I'm just talking about my experience whereas with the fibromyalgia side obviously I try to give you ideas to help and all that sort of thing. This video is just going to be talking about how incredibly, incredibly difficult it was um, and it's really hard to know where to start because when I start with the things like um, no privacy at all absolutely no privacy afforded to me at all all my post was opened whether it was birthday cards whatever it was all my post was always opened um, my room would be inspected with a fine tooth comb had to be up, dressed, 
bed made hospital corners on the sheets if you in my age you'll know about that downstairs for breakfast that I didn't want but that was forced down me no choice in anything I wasn't allowed to have my hair cut I wasn't allowed to choose my own clothes um, that is the tip of the iceberg my self-esteem and confidence is through the floor and doing this making videos I hate having to stare at myself while I make these videos being told you're stupid constantly not stop non-stop being berated for the slightest thing um, if I, uh, uh, you know the, the, it was it was not so much the rules uh, couldn't lay on the sofa if you tired you went to bed the amount of times I went to bed without tea because I might have tutted or raised my eyebrows at the wrong moment bed and, you, you, and that could be four o'clock in the afternoon and you didn't come back down to the morning and I read something from a counsellor in America he is fantastic with talking about childhood trauma and he said something along the lines of um, we were not put on this world to be humiliated by life Just reading that brought me to tears and I'm not somebody that cries easily um, there are so many things it's it's really hard I, I can't I can't dive straight into the really really dark stuff straight away because um, I think that would be too difficult to do um, so I could just uh, hold on a second I desperately need to get a drink of water I should have got one just hold on I'll be back Sorry about that. Um, it would be in inverted commas easy to just sit and reel off what I endured, but I don't think that's a useful way of talking about it um, basically I 
I was raised the complete opposite way to the way I have raised my children and that has resulted in me having low confidence absolutely no self esteem whatsoever I don't only not love myself, I hate myself I don't like looking at myself which is why I find making videos difficult because I'm looking at myself all the time um, I jump absolutely terrible for jumping um, and I will jump at this, the slightest thing um, I spoke about that in one of my previous videos and quite a few of you commented the same that you all jump really easily um, without sitting and physically writing everything down sorry I'm trying to hold this laptop on my lap and talk um, and it's really difficult so the point of me making this video is to try to open up a bit about being humiliated constantly being punished for the most ridiculous things and how anybody could enjoy inflicting those kinds of punishments blows my mind completely blows my mind I I can't get my head around it at all um, for years I had no idea really I, I don't really remember an awful lot before I was seven um, maybe I should add that I saw a really nice psychologist and I spoke about the things that had happened and he was such a a, a nice guy and he um, diagnosed me with complex post-traumatic stress disorder now I know a lot of you out there that have been in a similar situation to me but also have been diagnosed with PTSD and that blows my mind as well that you can so badly mess up somebody's brain to the point where um it's still affecting me at, at age 61 is says it all to, in, in my mind now I don't really know if I'm making a lot of sense I really really don't want to write it all down and just read it out to you because 
I don't think that will be a helpful way for me to talk about it and I don't think it would work so I think what I would say is because this video is now 20 minutes long what I will say is would you like me to make another video and speak some more about this subject are you interested please please could you let me know it's taken me a lot to do as much as I've done and um, I am okay to do some more if it will help anybody so if you could let me know would you like me to talk about this further um, then maybe that's the, the, the best way to um, to take this so I'm balancing this on my lap and trying to hold it it's not easy so I do apologise for that um, as I say guys let me know please and we'll take it from there okay Namaste my gorgeous friends, I love you all, be kind to yourselves, please be kind to yourselves, when you're stressed the cortisol rises in your body, it's not good for you and I will always, always say in my videos, have that break, be kind to yourselves, um, it's important, it really is, so God bless. Thank you for being here. Thank you if you've got to the end of this. And I apologise if it was all over the place. But I, I, I kind of did the best I could. So, have a nice weekend all. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye now.